Good morning, John Glenn. Today is Monday, September 12th, 2022. I'm Aubrey. I'm Julian. And this is a view from the Falcon's Nest. The banner is across Michigan Street in Plymouth proclaiming Halloween, which starts a week from Friday. Students are able to purchase bracelets in the main office. Last year, the bracelets sold out early. Students who haven't signed up for activities yet can do so in SRT. For Falcons who missed our annual picture day or you'd like to have another picture taken, the retakes will be next week on Friday. Stay tuned for more details. The Spanish Club will be meeting in the cafeteria during SRT on Friday to celebrate Mexican Independence Day with some treats from Hacienda. Please join Senora Clifton on Friday. There'll be a call-out meeting today in Mr. Merrill's room for Anime Club during activity period. Anyone interested in joining should plan to attend. For homecoming week, staff member members will be dressing up for theme days. Tuesday will be Decades Day, and the staff will be representing the 2020s for the COVID season. Wednesday's color will be yellow. WNDU is reporting that a ribbon cutting ceremony was held Thursday afternoon for a new solar park in Walkerton. The one megawatt solo, solar generating facility will help provide power to this town. It produces an annual amount of energy to power about 150 homes. Construction began in September of 2021 and it was commissioned this past July. Officials from Walkerton and the Indiana Municipal Power Agency say they hope this is one step closer to more green renewable energy. That's all we have over here, and here's the weather with Bo. Good morning, Falcons. It is 59, mostly sunny. It's going to be rainy today. The real feel is going to be 56 degrees. The wind speed is going to be 10 miles an hour southwest, and the rest of the week is going to be going to be 71, partly cloudy, 52. 79 for Wednesday is a high, sunny, 55 degrees for the low, 80 degrees Thursday, Partly cloudy, 59 degrees for the low. Now to weather, or er, now to sports with Nathan. The athletic department will be hosting a one-day Letterman jacket fitting and ordering event on Wednesday, October 5th during all three lunches. Please see Mrs. Slater in the athletics office to pick up an order form. The John Glenn boys soccer team lost to La Lumiere 3-1. to one. It, was a ho it was a hotly contested match all night long with both teams battling on defense and working hard to connect on offense. It was the Lakers who made several better connections offensively to award them the, Fal the, Fal the victory. The Falcons, however, showed great intensity, determination, and max effort for 80 minutes in the loss. Logan Bryant made six saves in goal, and Eli Peterson made one save entering the match when Logan Bryant went out with an injury. Ryan Shue scored the lone Falcon goal off of a header from a well-placed flighted ball into the box from Jace Pugh. Glen Girls Soccer lost to Northwood on Thursday evening in a tough game. We will be back up against Plymouth tonight. The cross-country teams traveled to Tippy, Tippy Valley Saturday to compete at their in Invitational against 10 other teams. The boys finished in 7th place, only 4 points away from 6th and 43 points better than last year. The girls were also 7th overall. Leading the way for the boys were Keegan Kaminsky, Ryan Shu, and Carter DuPont. Leading the way for the girls were Sierra Vincent, Sammy Walker, and Olivia Turnage. Sammy Walker, Major Plunkett, and Jared Basham were able to get season PRs as well. Both teams are back in action at our only home meet of the season on Wednesday for senior night. John Glenn Volleyball came out on top Thursday night as the, J as the freshman JV and varsity teams all picked up NIC wins against Bremen. It was a full team effort for the varsity squad to pick up their first conference win. The John Glenn Falcons have reached the midpoint of the regular football season with a 3-1 record after, after dropping a close one at Jimtown, er, against Jimtown Friday night. But there is a homecoming game coming up this Friday with Knox. In this week's power rankings, Knox is 136 in the state with a 2-2 two two record. Glenn is 157. Few teams in 3A in northern Indiana rank ahead of for the Falcons, but one is Tippecanoe Valley at 109 overall. The Vikings are undefeated. Mishawaka Marion is 141st and West Noble is 150th. Ladies, support your class and sign up for the Powder Puff game during Spirit Week of Homecoming. The game is after the bonfire on Wednesday. Your class is depending upon you. There is a sign-up sheet in the cafeteria. Now here's a what lunch with Bo. For lunch today, we're going to be having chicken tenders, sloppy joe, chef salad, PB&J, variety of fresh fruits, mashed potatoes, and a dinner roll. That's all we have for you today, Falcons. Have an amazing day.